Hey there, it's Charlie from Proponics, uh, and in this video I want to show you around my office slash grow room. Uh, I've got a few bits of hardware set up, a few different crops, um, and I just want to give a little explanation as to why I've set them up and what the configurations are, and also to give you some insight into how to set up a small hydroponic grow uh, in your own house indoors. So let's take a look. So welcome here to my office slash grow room slash lab. As you can see, we've got number of different things going on here which I'll explain um, each individually in a moment section by section but just a general overview it's a pretty small room maybe four meters by four meters maybe a bit less um, but yeah so let's start off with this NFT or nutrient film technique system so this uh, system here is one that you can actually buy off of Amazon um, and I've attached the lights on separately as you can see they're flickering so let's just switch those off much better um, it's a very popular system that you see on Amazon in a number of different configurations but I, I bought it and set it up just to sort of test how good it is um, as you can see there's uh, an issue with algae on this top deck um, which comes from uh, light coming through the reservoir and causing algae growth but I've intentionally uh, kept the reservoir transparent here um, for research purposes. You'll also notice a carpet on the floor which is a big uh, no for a hydroponic grow room due to the amount of water but on the bottom deck here you can see I've got um, lettuce growing and it's actually growing really well um, I would say there's a two different varieties so the bigger ones you can see um are were planted originally um and these smaller ones come from a commercial hydroponic site that i i work at um i bought them home because they were just spare i wanted to see if if they would work in the system so the way the system works is similar to a nutrient film technique system where the water will run through these pipes it's pumped from a, a reservoir which i'll show you momentarily but unlike a typical NFT system, uh, the pipes aren't sloped, so the water only flows into the next chamber once the previous chamber has uh, reached maximum capacity, basically. Um, so if we pull back from here, you see the reservoir down the bottom, which similarly is, is green with algae, I'll explain in a second. But the water flows up via a pump through the pipes, down the smaller pipe through each channel and then returns back here where the flow of water also aerates the water and keeps it oxygenated. Um, I will treat the algae with hydrogen peroxide um, and it will go away. Here you can see the lights I've added separately with foil to reflect the light back down. It's not optimized, but it does work. So next we have a pre-built system with a light that I've added. Uh, you can see the light here. It's just got a variable dial for different intensities but the system is from a company called autopot and it's a gravity fed reservoir system so it doesn't require any electricity outside of adding your own light um, and it works similarly to um i suppose a combination of an ebb and flow system the then the soil wicks up the water as the tray beneath fills but they have um, this unique valve system. So as the water level drops, once the water is taken up by the soil, uh, the valve then triggers and more water comes in from the reservoir. Uh, I'm growing chilies here at the moment, which you can see um, are suffering slightly uh, from a variety of different issues. The leaves curl up like that um, as a result of either nutrient deficiency or light intensity being too high or poor air circulation. So I've basically let them grow in fairly poor conditions with the intention of then remedying the conditions to see what works and what um, promotes better growth. Um, you can see underneath the leaves are quite bumpy and have a, almost like a crystally residue which is a, a, a classic sign of poor health from the reasons I just mentioned. However we do have uh, some buds developing uh, two or three on this plant and a couple in the other and they begin to flower so maybe we'll get some chilies growing I'm not sure yet but we'll uh, remains to be seen basically. But it's been a really easy system to use there was however initially uh, an issue with the reservoir where I was getting kind of a bad smell coming out of it so I've, I've added an air pump to, which you can see here um, to oxygenate um, the water inside because it's just still water basically um, sitting there there's no flow uh, so it doesn't 
doesn't remain oxygenated so I've decided to um, add this bubbler see just to keep it moving keep it oxygenated and uh, ever since I've added that and then also used hydrogen peroxide daily to also add some oxygen and um, keep it clean the water's been absolutely fine there's been no smell it's not been murky as it was before uh, it's kind of been crystal clear so uh, yeah I'm very happy with that uh, it, you can see the water will flow down from a uh, let me just put that back there um and put the air hose back down so down the back here yeah there's a pipeline out uh, and a valve that leads to the internal valve the float valve that i was talking about earlier let me just show you that um so here you can see the uh, float valve and as the water flows in it lifts the floats up which closes the valve and as the water drains or is uh, drawn up by the soil the floats drop uh, and the valve opens allowing water to refill in. So the plants are fed uh, as and when they need it basically. Um, there's also a runoff valve here if you need to drain out any water or you can also use it to uh, top water the um, uh, media as well here I'm using a mixture of um, perlite and cocoa coir uh, and in the previous system the uh, NFT system I was using uh, some sponges that came with the system and rock wool uh, this system is a uh, little um, deep water culture slash crack key system uh, it's currently running as a crack key system and it's the first hydroponic system that I ever built um, and I've just attached some very cheap grow lights from Amazon and planted some kale in some cocoa coir plugs and um, initially this just didn't do anything for a while I thought the the seeds were not going to germinate properly they'd come out a tiny bit and then they just sat there but within the last week or so uh, the kale's really taken off and I think this is a good example of how you can just very easily and, and cheaply make a hydroponic system of your own to experiment with. I mean, this is basically a plastic box with holes cut in the top. There are then net pot cups put in the tops of the holes, which the plants are growing in. And like I said, some lights, uh, which probably totaled the whole thing, right, like 20 pounds or $20. Uh, as you can see, the roots are nice and healthy, nice and white. After I've shown you all the systems, I'll detail what nutrition I'm using, but it's, again, inexpensive. And, um, yeah, this will be ready to just cut down and eat soon, and then I'll, I'll plant something new. Um, when I originally built this, I did have an, an air stone in it, so it was um, running as a deep water culture system, so nutrient with um, an oxygen source coming in. But this is running as a cracky system, so it is just nutrient water sitting in the bottom that the roots are dangling in with uh, an air gap to allow some oxygen to get to the plants but it's been uh, it's been fun kind of bringing it out of retirement like i said it's the first um system i ever built not that it was overly complicated to build but um i'd kind of put it to one side for more complicated systems uh, and i thought why not just bring it out and, and use it for something I, I had a bit of space left over on the bench so it was also an opportunity to try out some cheap lights and see if they worked like the ones on the nft they were relatively inexpensive the chili light that was a more expensive light but these all have actually worked quite well so uh, the next one here this is a, a smart garden so this is a um an all-in-one electronic um monitored device with an included led light as you can see there it connects to your phone and there's an app which gives you a readout of water level, temperature, growing days and you can have it set up in a, a manual mode where you basically fill it up by yourself and add nutrition or there's an automatic mode. So underneath the bench I have um, a 20 litre jerry can of water and there's a pipe running down the back into the jerry can you can see here the display so the blue circle is the water level when that reaches low uh, a pump will draw water from the jerry can into the system and then there's also an internal nutrient reservoir you can see there i've been harvesting this pak choy that's been growing um, i've done multiple harvests and nice healthy roots 
as you can see but at the back there yeah there's a, a nutrient uh, compartment so once it automatically fills it will then also add nutrition in um, at a ratio to how much water has been added and uh, yeah you can change the intensity of the lights and i've had multiple harvests already of, of pak choy so this is just one of many um i think i've maybe harvested it like two or three times just cutting off the outer leaves but soon uh, these plants will be done some of them are showing signs of flowering so i'll get rid of these and i'm thinking of uh growing more chilies and seeing how chilies compare in this system to the um, autopot system. But yeah, this is another variation of a pre-built system versus a system that you build yourself. It's very much more on the techie side, but it's super clean and easy to use. And I've never had issues with algae or dying plants. It's a really convenient system. So let me show you a few tools I have here that I use. I've got my light meter there, some gloves, some measuring devices, pH meter, EC meter. I've got a spare jerry can down there. You can see the uh, other jerry can just down here that feeds the smart garden. I've got a propagator there if I'm ever looking to propagate plants or grow seeds. Here's some of the different media that I have. These are the um cocoa sponges in there there's some um, of the sponges that came with the nft system from amazon so i don't usually buy that but that just came with it and um, and we have some hydroton and some vermiculite both of which i use in different systems this is the uh the cocoa plugs that i just mentioned so those are in my um DIY system, the one that's growing the kale. I just put the seeds in there and then pop the plugs into the net pots. And they're really good. They expand when the nutrient solution hits them and they've got a sort of a small mesh around them so they don't crumble away. So here's the nutrition that I use. This is CalMag. So this is a calcium magnesium mix. That's from Shogun. Um, this is uh, liquid oxygen, which is the hydrogen peroxide. This comes from Growth Technologies. Uh, I use a lot of their products. And hydrogen peroxide can help with both oxygenating the system and fighting bacteria and algae, but without harming the plants that you're growing. So they'll remain absolutely fine if you use this. Next, we have Formula X, which is growth technologies, all in one growth formula. And it's super convenient if you don't want to use a two part A and B mix. And other than the smart garden, I've used it on everything in this room. And yeah, it's always my go to, especially when I'm just looking for a generic formula, nothing specific. So that's my grow room slash lab slash office tour. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Click the link on screen now to access free hydroponics courses and join our growers community. If you learned something new today, hit that like button and let us know down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more educational hydroponics content.